kind of weird how generations, if you compare our current, let's just say the ma majority of the workforce is millennials right now mm -hmm. and Gen Zs. If you compare them to a few generations back there, it seems that we had um, more hesitant, hesitancy to walk away from a job because I'm feeling like well, I'm worth more or whatnot. And there's many, many reasons for that. I think some of it is due to the fact that they're having less children. So their responsibility load is lower in that. And then, of course, there's the whole idea that, you know, the generations of our parents and their parents seem to have been a little bit more um, hypnotized by the whole American dream and retirement and all that, where these generations are a little bit more focused on let's live now. Yes. Like, like being stuck, they want the opportunity to uh, to live their life. And right. I mean, the change and the shift over the past two years, back to what you were saying about how HR used to you know, be viewed, that's really been our goal the past, I mean, we've been in business almost seven years, and we really do want to change the view that people have of HR. So of course, we're there to support and protect the business. Uh, but the way you protect the business is to have open communication with employees and provide them with support and, you know, happy employees and employees that feel like they're being heard are much less likely to cause problems and issues for the business owner. So um, it's kind of a give and take. And if the business owner is open, I mean, you have to be open to hearing what they have to say. You have to be open to making changes mm -hmm. um, and kind of moving forward with everyone as we grow. Um, but I think the past two years have been really beneficial for for everyone. It's been an eye opener for sure. Mm. More so, I feel like that the employee that feels heard yeah. feels like somebody actually genuinely has an interest in their personal life and their balance and how they feel and how they're doing and their performance. Um, not only they're going to cause less problems, you're harvesting, you're harnessing, not harvesting. Harvesting sounds bad. It sounds like the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> like we're putting them in little. <laughs> yeah. You're harnessing a much uh, better version of that person yes. that wants to do good, that wants to uh, be a part of the culture, be a part of the team. Mm -hmm. um, and for a genuine reason, not fake it. Yeah. You know, uh, so I feel like um, and I want you to speak to that. Like, what do you recommend and how do you coach leaders and um, managers and CEOs and whatnot uh, when it comes to having a genuine interest in their people because it, it needs to come from a place of actually caring for your people yeah. i think it's something that's really hard to fake um and people can kind of tell their yeah. lie detector is going to kind of go off really quickly if somebody's like oh what did you do sunday and then they hear him say it to the next guy what did you do same thing yeah. right so it needs to come from a real place and um that's the only way yeah so how would you coach um it's, CEOs and managers. I mean, it starts with hiring. Mm. So the hiring process is super important. And the way that you're hiring a team member and the way that you're interviewing them and onboarding them and uh, the expectations for that are pretty high. So if you want to have high quality individuals working at your business, you want to have a hiring process and an onboarding process that when they get started, they're excited to be there. And you're not just kind of throwing them a job description and you're like, all right, get to work. Like it's more <laughs> right. like, it's more we're inviting you in to be part of this team and we're super excited and um, providing the management team with the support that they need uh, to do their job, which sure. essentially when we work with companies, we work alongside the managers and we help them make decisions and we help them coach their team uh, in a way that's going to benefit everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, again, there's a line between being somebody's friend and being their manager, which is not always easy, especially at a small business because sure. you're growing and we all love each other and we have a really hard time um, disciplining somebody when we're best friends with them. So it's it's a learning process. Um, but when they have the support from the business owner, the CEO, who says, listen, we have a team, like our team, for example, we have a team that we've brought on that you can call and say, listen, this is going on with the employee. I feel like you know they need some new motivation or they're not coming to work on time and, and they're really good employees. So let's kind of figure that out and see how we can, we can bring the best out in them. That, that makes perfect sense. And since you've brought up...